Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a very brief look at the X-Wing expansion for Star Wars X-Wing the Miniatures game. Now, the core game itself comes with one X-Wing and two TIE Fighters. However, there are a number of expansions out on the market that allow you to increase the number of ships that you can use. The X-Wing expansion is one such example. It is part of the Wave 1 um, expansion set. There are four ships per wave. And I think as of right now, there are a total of three waves out on the market. So with that being said, let's take a very brief look at what the X-Wing expansion has to offer. All right, now these are some of the components that came with the expansion. You've got your ship here, your pilot cards, and your upgrade cards. However, I'm not showing you the tokens, um, just for expediency's sake. Every expansion comes with um, standard tokens, and they usually reflect the ship class in question. Uh, for example, there is a focus icon here and a target lock icon here on this action bar. So uh, that would indicate that a focus token and target lock uh, tokens would would come with this particular expansion. These ship classes um, and the other expansions will have uh, similar tokens to reflect their class of ship. With that being said, let's take a quick look at this. There's the model. Um, again, this is just like the X-Wing as featured in the core game. As you can see, it looks the same and is likewise very fragile, so you'll need to be careful. Moving on to the pilot cards, you have a total of four of them. Let's see if I can focus in on this so you can see it. Alright, now the first one I want to cover is Wedge Antilles. He's probably the best one out of all of them. He's got a pilot skill of nine, and as far as these base stats, um, just like in the core game, all of them are the same um, across the X-Wing class. Attack, strength of three, agility of two, ship hull three, and shield value of two. Again, the differences lie in the pilot skill and what their upgrades are. Uh, in this case, uh, you've got a pilot skill of 9, and again, that plays a part during movement and combat. So he's basically usually the uh, last one to move and the first one to attack in most cases. You've also got um, this skill here when attacking. Reduce the defender's agility value by 1 to a minimum of 0. That's pretty powerful. That simply means that when he's attacking, the defender has to sort of discard a defense die. He'll have to use one less than he normally does in order to defend himself. Uh, you've also got your actions here, focus and target lock, and you can equip a number of these upgrade cards here. Using wedge will set you back 29 points when you're setting up your team. The next pilot I want to cover is this uh, Garvindrius, and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't read the book, sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, basically, this pilot has a skill of 6. His special ability, after spending a focus token, you may place that token on any other friendly ship at range 1 or 2, instead of discarding it. So that's actually pretty darn powerful. I mean, if you can keep this guy in formation with your other ships, um, he can basically give a free focus token to someone else after using it. Great ability, I think, um, and definitely worth being part of a squadron if you can afford him. He's 26 points, he has the standard focus and target lock, and he has two upgrade uh, icons along the bottom here. As far as these other two ships are concerned, these are your no-named uh, pilots. You've got your Red Squadron pilot, uh, pilot uh, skill of four. Again, the stats are the same. You've got your focus and target lock and two upgrade cards. That's worth 23. And you've got your rookie pilot. He's the worst out of the four. Pilot skill of two, no special ability. Two upgrade cards, standard focus and target lock. And uh, he will set you back 21 if you add him to your team. Last but not least, we have the upgrade cards, and some of them we've actually seen before in the core set. Um, these two are an example. You've got your proton torpedoes. Um, again, that's a secondary weapon that allows you to roll a total of four dice, and um, you'll have to discard it after using it, though. And that's assuming that you have a target lock on the ship that you're firing at. Um, that allows you to um, not only roll four dice, but you may change one of your focus results to a critical hit. Marksmanship, again, I covered this already in a pre previous video. It was part of the core set. Um, it acts uh, like a focus token, uh, but instead of changing all of your focus to all hits, um, you can change one of those focus to a critical hit. Now, these three upgrade cards we haven't seen before. This is the Expert Handling upgrade, and it works like an action. Perform a barrel roll. If you do not have the barrel roll action icon, receive one stress token. You may then remove one enemy target lock from your ship. 
This is actually pretty decent just simply because X-Wings by default do not have the barrel roll um, icon on their action bar. So if you want to add a little bit of defense um, to your X-Wing um, and a little bit of maneuverability, um, this would be a good card to have. That'll set you back two points. The R5 Astromech, uh, during the end phase, you may choose one of your face-up damage cards with the ship trait and flip it face down. This works a little like the determination card as featured in the core set. Um, whenever you're dealt a critical hit, you have a face-up damage card and... Uh, there's a chance that it will say pilot or ship or something like that. In this case, um, at the end phase, um, if it's a ship trait, you can go ahead and flip it face down, assuming you have this upgrade card equipped. That's worth one point. Finally, R5K6. After spending your target lock, roll one defense die. On an evade result, immediately acquire a target lock on that same ship. You cannot spend this target lock during this attack. That's worth two points. Basically, um, that allows you to immediately acquire another target lock, assuming you roll an evade, um, on that same ship without having to wait for the next turn to do another target lock action. Pretty darn powerful in my opinion. And there you have it. That's just a very brief look at the X-Wing expansion for Star Wars X-Wing the Miniatures game. As always, you can check out all of my material and reviews at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. You can also find links in the below description. Um, that'll take you to those sites as well. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.